Hello everyone! In today's craft, we are going to imagine fish in the sea. For this craft, you will need white paper or card, some blue paint, water, a paintbrush, some wax crayons and if you'd like you can use a pencil to sketch your drawing first before you colour it in. Let's start by drawing our fish. I'm drawing a body, a nice big tail like this And I'm going to add some fins to help my fish swim faster. I'm also going to draw a head and an eye, just the one eye because I'm imagining the fish from the side. And you can add other details like gills or a nice big smile. So here is my fish with the big tail, the fins, and an eye. If you'd like to, you can also draw some scales on your fish, but you can skip this step. I'm drawing a pattern of curved lines and I will connect them all together. You can also draw small circles to show the scales on your fish. Fish scales come in all colours of the rainbow and they are very shiny. They grow out of the skin of the fish. The salmon has grey scales, but some species of salmon can also have pink scales. Next, it's time to pick up our wax crayons and colour in our fish. You can use whatever colours you like and make your fish really colourful. I'm going to use orange to colour in the fins and the tail and I'm going to use a different colour for the body. I'm trying not to leave any white spaces but it doesn't have to be perfect. We are using wax crayons to give our fish very bright colours and this way when we paint over the fish to create the blue seawater, the colours of our fish won't be covered by the paint. So keep colouring in. We'd love to see the fish that you've created at home. You can ask your adults to send us a photo. And underwater there are lush plants and habitats and little spaces where the fish can swim, eat, play and sleep. So I'm going to draw some plants for my fish to play or hide in. And I'm adding some coral. Maybe my fish likes to swim in very warm waters. And down in the sand, I'm going to add a shell or two as well. Don't forget to colour everything in and make it all very bright and very colourful for our fish. So now it's time to paint on our seawater for our fish using our blue paint. 
So take your paintbrush and make sure it's nice and wet. Now I'm using a thick and quite dark paint, so I'm only going to dip my brush in a little bit because I don't want the water to be too dark. And just start painting it all over your drawing. Now, as you can see, even though we are painting all over our fish and plants, you can still see the colours of the wax crayons. If you are using watercolour paints, you might have to put a little bit more of the paint on your brush. And if you'd like to make the blue water darker, just add some more paint. If you think it's too dark and would like it to be lighter, just try adding some more water onto your painting with the brush. And there we have it. Our fish in the water. I hope you enjoyed doing a bit of drawing and painting with us today. I'm sure your fish are looking wonderful. Thank you for watching.